<laughs> I'm glad. Oh, so up, 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 to, up, up to this point, we, uh, you know, we, we've uh, the Lord's Prayer kind of revealed a great deal about the character of God. We've seen, you know, where Jesus emphasized uh, uh, God's omnipotence by uh, saying, "Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name," which you talked about last week, uh, and. Uh, 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 the the fact that you know he asked uh, we ask in the prayer that, uh, that that God's kingdom come His will be done in us so that His kingdom is then dispersed uh, throughout throughout the uh, throughout the world. So then we come to the first the first part of the prayer where we're asking actually petitioning for something other than God honoring God. <clears throat> Uh, because now that this is it's, it's the chapter first eleven of chapter six of Matthew is give us this day our daily bread. So he so Jesus is now instructing the disciples to ask that God provide for us or provide for them. Uh, and it's really uh, it's really an acknowledgement that uh, we are dependent on God as our provider because we're asking Him. To provide for us, uh, when we say "Give us this day our daily bread," uh, uh, it, it, it reminds of how of, the, of how dependent we are on God for everything. Everything, mm-hmm. the, everything we need in life, we're, <clears throat> we're dependent on on Him. Um, uh, what uh, what Mola says? Mola says in this this how do you pronounce his name? In yeah. this, in, like Mola. Mola says in, in in this book is that we on the other hand we it say, he says uh, Jesus in the, in this model of prayer points out the difference in the Creator and the creature. God's name is to be hallowed in heaven, which is said. Then it, we on the other hand are incapable of even getting basic sustenance. Sustenance. Without his help, uh, and so he said, "What Jesus is, is doing is 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 telling us first to exalt God, right? Hallowed be thy name, and then to humble ourselves by asking Him to provide for us, or acknowledging that, that uh, He is uh, that uh, we're dependent on Him." Uh, he says, and I agree with this, that God designed humans. To be dependent, mm-hmm. uh, because uh, right because mm-hmm. it, it, it talks about from the time from the time we're born, we depend on our parents for everything. Uh, uh, everything we depend on, and we learn from them, or we learn from somebody. If it's not <laughs> it's not our parents, everything we learn how to dress. We learn uh, it's uh, what he says that we learn. Uh, uh, how to how to how to dress us? How they feed us? Our parents feed us. They train us to do everything, or well, somebody does everything that we do. And as we get older, we we also remain remain dependent on others. We don't like to think of that necessarily. Think about that. But we are dependent on others. As a matter of fact, from the very beginning, in the very beginning, when God created Adam. He realized that Adam couldn't do it alone. On, alone, right? That he needed somebody to help him. Not good for man to <laughs> right, right. <laughs> and, right. He needed somebody to help him, and so he created this the evil. He, you know, he need Adam needed uh, somebody to to accomplish his mission on earth, which was to subdue the earth. He couldn't do it alone. Uh, that's why God said he needed somebody to help him, and he created uh, uh, Eve. And then the two of them, okay, uh, were fruitful and multiplied, and, and there were more people. So, we, so, 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 man is always dependent on, on each other. We, we need, we, we need, we need other people. Uh, and the church is a church is a good place, kind of an example of 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 of, of dependence on each other. And a little bit of that's going to be. Uh, Kind of what's kind of neat about the sermon today, which is on gifts, uh, mm-hmm. but but uh, we need we need if we think about it, we need we dependent on everybody. Well, we dependent for, for everything. Uh, uh, we depend on government, for example, to provide safety. Good morning. Good morning. We depend on government 
for example, to, to provide safety, uh, you know, with, 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 uh, uh, with the first responders, with fire, policemen, and order. Uh, we depend on uh, 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 our, the church. Uh, if it works right, we depend on each other for edification and help and assistance. So we're dependent, and that's what Jesus is saying in the, in, in the Lord's Prayer, with give us this day our daily bread, that we're dependent on him for everything. That's why, uh, that's why I believe uh, that we're instructed actually to pray for our uh, leaders because we depend we depend on them. Uh, you, know, you know it it and, and why and why the scriptures tell us to 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 submit to them because we depend on government for sure. For example, uh, it, if you go to Romans, there's a couple of scriptures uh, about that in Romans thirteen four, and then First Peter uh, chapter two. Verses thirteen and fourteen. It actually talks about us submitting to authority because we depend on it. Because we actually depend on it. Romans thirteen four. Whoever has that. Do you want the easy read? It, doesn't, it, matter? it doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay. Well, I have King James right here. But, okay. Um, for he is the minister. Is that the one? For he is the minister of God to thee for good. Mm -hmm. But if thou do that which is evil, be afraid. Is this the one? Yeah, that's one. Yeah. Okay. For he beareth not the sword in vain, for he is the minister of God, a revenger to execute wrath upon him that does evil. Okay, so essentially what that's saying, you read another, another version, but then it'll, it'll, it'll oh, simplify yeah, it. Oh, yeah, this is better. Yeah, yeah. Actually, rulers are God's servants to help you, but if you do wrong, you have reason to be afraid. They have the power to punish, and they will use it. They are God's servants to punish those who do wrong. Okay, so again, that, 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 points out, that points out the fact that we're dependent on government, mm -hmm. right? And so we're, and because we're, de we're dependent on them to provide safety for us. So, uh, 1 Peter 2, 13 and 14. Somebody have that? You ever Houston? Uh, submit yourselves to every ordinance of man for the Lord's sake, whether it be the king as or as supreme, or unto governors and as unto them that are sent by him for the punishment of evildoers and for the praise of them that do well. For so is the will of God that with well-doing you may put to silence the ignorance of foolish men as free and not using your liberty for a cloak of ma maliciousness, but as the servants of God. Honor all men, love the brotherhood, fear God, honor the king. Okay, all right. So, again, it's because we're dependent on government for things. It's primarily... Order. Safety and order, <laughs> right, 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 right. To keep order, uh, um, and that's what that's why we are told that we should pray for them, uh, pray for for uh, uh, those that are in authority, because first of all, I said they're God servants. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that a an individual, okay, is a, a servant. It's the office. Mm. Okay, mm -hmm. it's the office that and God set up. When they're not doing the office, we pray for them to be. Removed. Yeah, because it scripturally talks about removing, you know, praying for praying for removal of evil. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there's, there's no, there's no wonderful because you, what, what you're praying for is you're praying for you're praying for the authority which God has granted in government. Mm -hmm. So that's that, that and that's the that's the reason we are to pray for it again because we depend on them. If it were, if, if if there were no order, no government, just think about. You, if you look at all the chaos that there is now, mm -hmm. if there was no order at all, <laughs> we just think about that, uh, <laughs> right? Uh, <laughs> and so, so with that, but then, and then the other thing is, is that the church is a is a community of people, and when it's functioning uh, in the love of Christ, it's, 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 as, it's as it should be, it's populated with people who support each other. Mm -hmm. So again, we're dependent on each other. Mm -hmm. 
That's why give us this day our daily bread. Bread. We are acknowledging that we're depending on where we are dependent, especially in this instance, we're dependent on God just for the basic needs, that ba- daily bread. That's a basic need uh, that we have, and that's what. So, and, and that and that is what we're asking. Uh, now, it, so we don't get ourselves confused, because in, in a, I was beginning to get a little confused when I first started reading the, the book, uh, because it talked about. Uh, uh, we talk about the fact that there's no I in that, right? There's no I in the Lord's mm-hmm. Prayer. And there's, there's no me and there's no my in the Lord's Prayer. But but uh, it's always our and, and, and us. Uh, but it still doesn't, as I was reading on, now as we get to give us this red day our daily bread, it it does it does indicate though that that there is a That God acknowledges the fact that we have physical needs, material needs. Um, um, here's what it says in the book, and kind of like before the fall, mankind depended on God to provide, but there was always surplus and abundance. So there was no need to ask Him to provide because there was nothing but nothing. Uh, there was nothing disturbing the relationship. Before the fall of man, we didn't need to ask God to provide anything because it was, it was all in abundance. After the fall, however, the experience was quite different, as is ours today. Our default experience is no longer abundance, but scarcity. Food must be produced by the sweat of our brow, and its existence is never certain. So that's why there's no certainty now because of the fall, so we have to ask God even to provide our basic physical needs, um, because once, 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 once uh, Adam and Eve sinned, uh, scarcity became because became because now the ground that produced the food became cursed, right? Uh, it, in, in Genesis three, what it says is uh, to Adam, he said, "Because you listened to your wife and ate the fruit." Of the tree which I commanded you must not eat from it. Cursed is the ground because of you. So now it's going to be difficult for you to eat because you're going to have to work. It's going. To, it's hard now. So so now scarcity became the order of the day, not abundance. So we have to ask God to help us to provide for us because uh, that now there's no guarantees. There are no guarantees, not even for food. Okay, if we don't, if God doesn't provide it. We won't have it. Uh, an example is uh, we have we have droughts, we have floods, we have fires. We have a lot of stuff that disrupts the food supply, and the food is just a, a, just we just kind of use that as an example in terms of, of provision for physical for physical needs or material needs. We do have them, uh, and it's okay to ask God. For them, because that's, he's he's the only source uh, that we that, that 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 we have, uh, and it's only by God's mercy that he that he that he provides uh, provides for us, and he pr- provides for us because he's because in the very beginning, what do we call what do we say? What's the what's the two first two words? Oh, boy. <laughs> right, 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 right. So we can come to him and ask him to provide for us because we've honored his name. Okay, we realize what by saying, "Give us like this, that, this day our daily bread," that 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 we're de- totally dependent on Him, and uh, uh, because of His mercy, and He's our Father, we can be have confidence that He will provide for us. He'll even provide uh, because of God's uh, uh, grace. Uh, uh, what's the word I want to use? Uh, his universal grace. He the provide even provides for those that are not his children, right? Because as 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 the only the only the only people who really have the right to call Jesus or God the Father are those who accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior in, in the family. Now God is fatherly to everybody, but He's not everybody's father. 
uh, we can call him our father. Uh, he's everybody's creator, yeah. but he's our father. Right, he's everybody's because creator, he and he's Father Lee. Lee. He's Father Lee. <laughs> right, right, but he's not not our father. Right, right. Uh, and so you you can be Father Lee, mm -hmm. but you you know being Father Lee is you know you know provide caring about, caring about yeah. but really caring about and providing it, a father does that. Um, and that's what that's what God is. So, um, uh, but so we should never be ashamed to ask God to provide for our physical resources. Never ever be ashamed of that. Even after you know, we, 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 we should obviously pray for others. Which is what the, the kind of Lord Prayer tells us to do. But well, we should all never be afraid or hesitant to pray for our own physical needs. It's, that's not unspiritual, unscriptural, to ask that God provide for you. It's not. Uh, um, um, what it says is people who teach that we should not be concerned about physical needs being met are suspect. Those people are suspect. Uh, now, that, that doesn't mean about obsessing with physical comfort. <coughs> what we're talking about is, is needs. doesn't mean getting upset and concerned about, 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 about the fact that you're not comfortable all the time, uh, but never be, never, never, never hesitate. <coughs> To add, yeah, right. And we got some. Oh, no, we don't have any. We don't be hesitant to. Don't be ever hesitant to ask God to provide for our physical needs. Uh, uh, our lives, and this is this. Go ahead. We don't ask Him though without going through Christ, using His blood for uh, physical healing. I mean, we can't just say, God, heal me. Let's that, say, heal me through the blood of Christ. Well, that, that, well, that's the... Because you or uh, um, You don't have to use those words. Let me put this word. You don't have to say, heal me through the blood of Christ. Uh, and and the, re the, re the reason I say that is because... Once, once you've accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, and you're part of, you're you're in the family of God, uh, God sees you from that point on. He sees you. The filter that He uses is Christ and and, and the blood of Christ, for example. Which is, you said as an example. So you can ask you can ask for healing, and you can ask for your physical needs to be met, and you don't have to you you don't have to say. You don't have to say. Uh, in Jesus name you don't have to say heal me through the blood of Christ because that's the way you are viewed anyway you see what I'm saying you don't have to use those words uh, once you once you become a part of the family you don't have to use those words that's, that's just like um, It's like with your with your own with your own uh, with your own parents. You don't have to. You don't have to. You don't have to use. A, you don't have to have a, a. You don't have to have a. A. What's the word I want to use? You don't have to have a. A special. Salutation in order to ask them, to provide, for something. You understand? I'm not, I don't want to confuse you no, no, because it, it, is, it, is beca it is because of... A form of greeting. Well, well, yeah, and, 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 it's, and, it's, and it's because of Jesus' sacrifice and his blood that we're able to ask God for that uh, with, 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 with the knowledge that God hears and will answer that prayer in whatever manner he chooses to use. It's because of the blood of Jesus but we don't have to, we don't have to, uh, and, and, and it's good for us to maybe remind ourselves of that, but we don't have, don't have to remind God of that, okay, if, if, if that makes sense. Yes. Okay, all right. So, but with the, the point, the point we, the point we want to make is that, is that we sometimes try to, we sometimes try to 
You have something? I was going to say, um, is that different, what you're saying different than praying in the name of Jesus? Is that different? Because when he says about asking in my name, uh -huh. you know, I'll do it. Is that? It's not really that either. Let, 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 let's, let's, let's try oh, to, yeah. no, 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 let's try, let, no, no, let's, let's try to, let's try to dissect this thing. Uh, what, what he's saying is, 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 uh, he said, you ask God to hear you through the blood, through, of, through Jesus. The blood of Jesus, and you. you're saying, praying in the name, in the name of, Jesus. of Jesus, using his name, using his name, you right, and, 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 in, in both of those cases, mm -hmm. okay, uh, you don't have to okay. use the name of Jesus mm -hmm. when you pray. Okay. okay. And the reason I say that is because uh, uh, Jesus has given us the authority to ask. To ask. Okay. okay? Right. If he's given us authority, we don't have to say, in the name of Jesus, mm -hmm. I ask us. We have the authority already to ask, mm -hmm. to use his name. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we have the authority to use his name. Uh, that doesn't mean we have to say it. You understand what I'm saying? Sort of. You're, right, right. So, for example, for example, if 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 you are going down the street mm -hmm. and you see a potential accident, okay, you may not have the time to say, "In the name of Jesus, protect me." All right. Mm -hmm. Now, if you say just just say "protect me," you are asking. Because, Saying, essentially saying, using the authority of, the, of Jesus' name, what you're es essentially doing is just as if Jesus himself is asking. Is it, okay. okay. I got it. And, it's, and it, if, if, if we're using Jesus' the authority that Jesus gave us, we're always going to ask in, what we're going to ask is always going to be within God's will. Mm -hmm. Now, when we, when, we, when we ask outside of God's will, then we're really not using the authority that we have. In the name of Jesus, mm -hmm. so what? That's what. What? what the, it's just like saying you don't have to. It's not. There's nothing wrong with it, mm -hmm. but you don't have to, in your prayer, in Jesus' name, in order for God to hear and answer your prayer. As a matter of fact, how does the Lord's prayer end? In Amen. any in any version, <laughs> right, Amen. right, right. In any version, Which is so be so what is, is, is so be is done. done. Yeah, right. And and I mean and I mean in 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 no translation of the Bible it, does Jesus say it say in the Lord's prayer in my name or in the name mm -hmm. of Jesus. Yeah, yeah. So and so if you're following his model, mm -hmm. okay. Now later on he says though, mm -hmm. okay, it, anything you ask in my name I will do. Right. And uh, or, uh, 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 or and or and 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 at the end of Matthew, when he what said that he had been given authority, he was thinking he needed, then gave that authority right. to his disciples. And if you ask anything in my name, if you ask any, anything in my name, I will do it. Mm -hmm. And and that's true. But you, but that doesn't mean that if you ask, and it's not. Mm -hmm. If you, and you don't say in his name. I, I have to keep saying that. If you don't say it's in the name. We can ask in his name and not say. Right, got it. In his name. Yes. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, 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 okay. All right. Uh, so, uh, uh, in, ask, in asking that God provide a daily bread, Jesus is saying that God is concerned about everything that affects us from our ability to eat to our basic Needs, uh, the and but the emphasis is on need. The emphasis is on need. That's why I said, "Give us this day our daily bread." The emphasis is on need, not necessarily not not asking for uh, something that's uh, uh, extravagant. And that's not a problem with that either. There's, not, there's no problem when asking <laughs> that either. But what we need to understand is that the promise God promises to meet our needs. Um, um, 
Again, the emphasis is on, is on need. Uh, not, and not necessarily for us. Okay, for example, um, um, the Bible tells us that we should actually pray, it should help one another. So when we pray, for example, when, when, when we're asking God to meet, to give us this day our daily bread, the answer to that prayer may come through someone else. Right, because the Bible, the Bible tells us that we should help each other. But the Bible says that. If you go go to Philippians chapter two, verses three and four. Philippians two, three, and four. I have it. Let me read it. It's from the NIV. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourselves, not looking to your own interests, but each of you to the interests of others. Uh, there's a scripture in 1 John chapter 3, uh, verse 17 and 18. I'm sorry, what did you say? First John 3. Okay. 17 and 18. Have it? Yeah. Okay, read that for me. If anyone has material possessions and sees a brother or sister in need but has no pity on them, how can the love of God be in that person? Dear children, let us not love with words or speech, but with actions and in truth. Okay. All right. So, so um, while we ask God to, to give us this day our daily bread, as our basic needs, we should also understand that sometimes, though we, we should not, we should not, we should not uh, uh, direct God as to how He provides those needs. I guess is what I'm saying, because it can come from other people, and as a matter of fact, even from us when we see our, our brother or sister. In need, the 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 words the word says the Bible says, the scriptures say, and Jesus is kind of saying this that we when we pray we shouldn't pray for riches, okay? Mm -hmm. We should not pray for riches, only for the needs of the day. I wanted to read the okay. read verse because it's really. It's, well. Go ahead, read it. It says, suppose a believer who is rich enough to have all the necessities of mm -hmm. life sees a fellow believer who is poor and does not even have basic needs. What if the rich believer does not help the poor one? Then it is clear that God's love is not in that person's heart. My children, our love should not only be words and talk. No, our love must be real. We must show our love by the things we do. Correct, right. That's just like us saying, if we see somebody in need, right, and we have something. That's this one over here. Huh? <laughs> That's this one over here. <laughs> Always giving. Right, 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 right. And, and Always coming so, in with and, a gift. Right, but and, and what 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 our ten <laughs> what our tendency generally is. And I'm, what the, our tendency is, and I'm trying to work on it to get better That's myself. Right. What the tendency yeah. is 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 what we say is well we'll say well I'll pray for you. Well that's great. Okay. But the, but the issue is that if I they need, need something. something right now and you have it, your praying for me is not going to help, help me, <laughs> right? So <clears throat> provide the need and then pray. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. the but I, you, oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. Problem I have with this world and the people in it, mm -hmm. especially the male people in this world, <laughs> is that growing up, I would just say in the ghetto. Mm -hmm. That all it was 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 a battle, fighting against the next guy. You know, you you know, hey, uh -uh, I don't want to deal with you. And this is the attitude yeah. that has been concreted in me. So, Correct. So that's it. And that's all. I ain't got nothing to do with you, dude. Right. Mm -hmm. No matter what you right. know. Right. Even though my brother's in prison, like that. It's just the way I grew up. This callousness mm -hmm. that I have towards my fellow man. Right. And when I love God, I'm in mean, Bible study in church hall. I still have this callousness <laughs> yep. towards my fellow man. Yep. He has to prove yep. himself. <laughs> right. And right. And, and so we so we have to we 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 have to constantly mm -hmm. ask God 
to 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 help us to deal with that. Because I agree. That, you know, and what about what I was going to say before him? Is, don't we also in everything have to rightly divide the word of truth mm -hmm. and discern mm -hmm. when you know? But some Correct. it's really funny because I'm I'm like you sometimes, but sometimes I get wishy washy yeah. because one day I may say, okay, it ain't upon me to figure out what he going to do with that money if I give it to him. All right. You know, and then it's the other days I'll say, well, he's standing right, you know, you know, it's like, okay, I know exactly what he's going to do with it. And why would I try and support <laughs> what he's going to do with it right. when, you know, and then because, like, and then lately sometimes what I'll do is like, there's a guy that sometimes I see over in a shopping center where I might be getting something to eat. And, I, just, I felt like God put it on my heart just to take him in there yeah. and feed him. Because right. he asked for something to eat. Sometimes people will say they want something right. to eat. Right. And then when you say, well, do you want me to buy you some right. food? No. no. Right. I don't want you to buy right. me no food. Right. And then I know what the game is. Right. Right. But I took him in. He said he wanted food. Yeah. And he did want food. I yeah. said, pick out whatever yeah. you want. Right. Get as much as you want. And then I gave him some money. Okay. Because in my spirit, I felt like... He really wanted something to eat. Right. And I just gave him some, he, hey, if you want to, you know. What? Yeah. You know. Uh, my last words is, <laughs> forgive me for talking. No, 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 no it's okay. But I, I All right. I was horrible with women, abusing them and doing all these kind of things, sex with them, like I didn't even know. Well, now I find out I have a son <laughs> in prison. <laughs> And my God, he calls me up, first words out of his mouth are cursed words. Mm -hmm. I realize, okay, he is my son, though, you know, 90%. But he's addressing <laughs> me, he's addressing me foul. Okay. You know, oh man, all kinds of okay. horrible words. Right. I have to give him my money. So, I mean, my goodness, I, 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 I don't even want to talk. See him about God because I realized this person is in prison because he willfully wanted to do evil. So he is an evil person. Right, okay. And uh, uh, hey, look here. No. Uh, well, uh, well, 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 you know what? <laughs> hey. Everybody ain't evil. Oh, me, please. No, man. no, wait a minute. Let me tell you a story about a, a man I know personally, okay? He's a good friend of mine today. But when he was growing up, his son, his oldest brother and I, David, his, in fact today we're all still friends. He was a gun toting a, 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 a official drug addict. <laughs> drug was pusher. Gun toting official drug, drug addict. Okay? Uh, About 10 years ago, I was driving down I was sit, sit, standing, sitting on the corner of Swanson and West, and this uh, uh, man says, to me, drives up to Swanson oh, and to, no, Kingston right there, drives up to, oh, no, to me at Swanson and West and says, get in jail. That's all he said, what? get in jail. Oh. But I knew that voice, hmm. okay? I said, and then went, Larry? He said, Give He said, Close your mouth and get in. <laughs> and then he said, Close your mouth and get in. So I got in. I said, What happened? And all I said, He said, I found out. Okay, that can, right, and and and, and, right. and, and that that that, that right. and and yeah. that can happen. Yeah, that, that can happen. We, he is a minister today. Yeah. 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 Teaching me, yeah. teaching others, what we tried to teach him twenty years ago. Right, and, so and it can happen. It can it 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 it, it can happen. What, 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 what we do have we have, to, we have to acknowledge that we're all sinners. Okay, Amen. we do have to acknowledge that we have, we do have to acknowledge that there are some people that have. That are we can define, and it's not too late to teach as that. evil. It, do, it do, do, doesn't mean it can't change. And but and and, and what, you, what what we have to what we have to do what we have to do is a couple of things. We have to do a couple of things. One is we have, we have to make the decision first of all to pray for them. Right? Okay, that, that's number one. Now, the second thing we have to do is we have to decide whether it's 
us to talk to him or not. If you cannot talk to him, then do not mm -hmm. talk to him, right? Just pray for him. Because what, what, we have, what we have to understand is, is, is pray for him and we leave the consequences to God. Right, so so it does two things. One, it keeps you from getting upset and frustrated mm -hmm. by talking to them. Right, so don't do that. And don't are do you it. Upset because you have that you giving him your money. I'm not upset. I wait for him to speak some love. Right, right, right. And he doesn't. And that may His not, word right. is evil. Right, and that may not. And see, and that, even when he asks for the money, I need some. Yeah, and what's it? And, what, see, the, the, and, and so right, so and so I can understand. Your, your feeling sort of the, the thing, what you should need to do is pray for him. Do not talk to him. I pray. And, right, and do not yeah, do not do talk not to him because you cannot change him. Do not talk to him because you will get frustrated. Amen. And more angry. And more Amen. angry. Amen. So leave it at that. Now, now, so, so. Uh, Just like Larry told me, I had to hit rock bottom and eat the dirt yep. and, before yeah. I learned what right. you and my mother and the Jerry, as his brother, and verse we're trying to tell. Right. We, we also have to understand this. Mm -hmm. We also, and this is not. This is a hard thing to, to mm -hmm. say and understand. We also have to understand this: that some people will not mm. ever no. change. change. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. that, that doesn't that doesn't mean we shouldn't pray for them, right? Yeah. right? right. But we got to realize we can change. And if we can, if we continue trying to change. <laughs> Him, we will sometimes, get frustrated and, and more angry. Sometimes they'll change us. Yes. If they'll change. They'll, they, yeah, right, and they, they will change. Right, they will change you the wrong way. Correct. They, right, they will not. They, they won't change you for the good. Correct. Correct. Okay. So let, let's let's go. So 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 so. Well, what we're talking about is 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 while while we should while we should not be ashamed to pray for that God provides our needs. A physical needs because they they exist. There's really no that there's no there's no there's no dividing line in terms of spirituality and secular needs. I mean, you you, you we yeah we but well, we have physical needs. We have to understand that. But the, the, we shouldn't pray. For, we should not. We shouldn't necessarily pray for riches. Uh, but what we should pray for is the needs of the day. That's why it says, give us this day our daily bread. The scripture says a couple of things about that. It says, first of all, we shouldn't worry about tomorrow because today has enough worry in it. That's a paraphrase, but that's essentially what it says. Today has enough worry in it. Do not worry about tomorrow. Uh, and the Bible tells us that we pray for needs each day because God provides each day an example. That's, that's, that's in scripture that's in the book is of when the, when Israel lights were in the wilderness when he provided the manna he provided the manna for the day right and right they don't eat don't right, store right. it don't, don't for the day and and, 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 and to, to show you he really provides for you is on the sixth day mm -hmm. he provided enough manna for two days because he said the Sabbath day you can't do anything. Do anything. Mm -hmm. Here's the other thing. And the scripture says, the other thing that God provides exactly what I need. So it says, the scripture says, those that gathered much had, didn't have anything left over. Mm -hmm. right? And those that gathered little have no lack. So God gives us exactly what we need for each day. And that's what we should pray for. That's what we should pray pray for the needs for each day and God the word says he will give us a need for the day right, right. now we you know, some people we may have some opulence but that's what and or riches but God which when we pray we should ask God to provide for that day because first of all we don't know what's going to happen the next day the, right that, 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 that there's an example and I don't know I can't think of which book it's in but there's an example of the, of the parable that Jesus tells about the man, the rich man, who had, 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 had so much stuff. He said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build more barns, new barns. I'm going to tear these old barns down, build more barns so I can store my stuff. And then I'm going to eat, drink, and be merry. And what happens, the, Jesus says, you fool. And he died the next day. 
See, so, 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 uh, so our concern should be about the day, not the future when we pray. Doesn't mean don't plan either. That's, we should plan for tomorrow. Luke but, 12. Luke 12. Luke 12? Okay. Yeah, Read Luke it. Read, look, um, the, the um, NIV says, Then he said, This is what I'll do. I will tear down my barns and build bigger ones, and there I will store my surplus. Let me find the best place. 19. Yeah, and the next is going to be the next uh, verse. Okay. Um, next verse says, And I'll say to myself, You have plenty of grain laid up for many years. Okay. Take life easy. Eat, drink, and be merry. All right. 20 says, But God said to him, You fool, this very <laughs> night your life will be demanded from you. Then who will get what you have prepared for yourself? Right. Right. So we, we, should, we, we should only be concerned about the day. Because the, the day's provision. The, the day's provision. Because tomorrow is not promised. But we should plan. We should plan. Right. The scriptures tell us we should plan. But in our planning, we have to realize that the execution, we have to leave the execution of the plan in God's and. hands. Right? We should plan. Because uh, God knows exactly, God, God knows exactly what to provide. That's why we shouldn't worry about today, tomorrow. God knows exactly what to, how much to provide. That's, that's the example about the manna. He knew exactly how much to give everybody. So nobody had any lack, and nobody had too much. Uh, the other part is not only did God provide for their food, okay, he also provided for their clothing to the point it never wore out. Go to Deuteronomy chapter 8. 8-4, eight. <laughs> eight, read that. clothing did not wear out on you and your foot. Did not swell these 40 for forty years. For forty years, right? Okay, so he provided for their their, 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 their for their nourishment and for their clothing. We can be sure, as God's children, that He will provide for us today. God might not provide for us the way we think is best. Which is mm -hmm. in the book. God may not provide for us the way that we think is best, but He will all. But we will always find that he provides for us according to his infinite love and care. Uh, here's, here's another thing that's, that's, that's uh, interesting. I'm going to read this right from the book. Um, and it's in the section that said, bread of, bread of earth, bread from heaven, echoes of eternity, and Jesus is petition for bread. Okay, I'm going to read it right from the book. So this passage teaches us, that God designed physical needs to point to our deeper spiritual needs. <coughs> our need for daily physical sustenance is a faint echo of our daily need of spiritual sustenance and satisfaction from God. Uh, and it gives us Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 3. And this reads, I mean, I'll read it. But humbled you, this, this is, and this, this is in response to the bread of the, the manna, kind of what we were talking about this morning. Mm -hmm. but, but humbled you, causing you to hunger, and then feeding you with manna, which neither you nor your ancestors had known, to teach you that man does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth God. of God. God provided every day. The only way that we will taste the goodness of God's provision is by living according to what comes from the mouth of God. That is why Jesus regular to, regularly referred to himself as the bread of life, the true man sent from heaven. And other, and, the, and, the, and other versions, he said bread of life, he uses, I think the NIV, the others that, other translations say bread of heaven. Mm -hmm. Uh, in fact, the NIV it says, "Then Jesus declared, I am the bread of life." Uh, John six thirty five. Then Jesus declared, "I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never go hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty." Now he's so he, and he so he, and, and in this sense, Jesus is not talking about physical substance. He's talking about spiritual substance. That he is God's ultimate provision for our spiritual lives. Each day, as we pray for our daily bread. We should be reminded of our daily need for Christ to forgive our sins and empower us for obedience. 
Each time we pray for daily bread, we should, should recognize our deeper need for the bread of life, the only one who can truly satisfy. So when we ask, when we pray, give us this day our daily bread, we are praying that God will provide for us that day our physical needs for that day, whatever that is. Uh, and, and, and by using daily bread as to the basic necessities of life, uh, we are also we're also acknowledging our dependence on Him, on God, for everything. So when we pray, it was the day our daily bread. We should, we should. We're asking God to provide for us for that day. Again, remember, we're praying for Him to provide for us today. Uh, and that and, and 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 knowing that if we ask for for and knowing that in the past he's provided not only for a whole nations food supply for a day he's provided for us daily every day he provides for us and the fact that we get through today is proof of that and we don't know what's not worry about tomorrow today <laughs> right we we'll, we'll worry about tomorrow Tomorrow, we ask God for His provision uh, for tomorrow. Tomorrow, uh, uh, and 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 realizing that that we're dependent on Him for every single thing that we have. Nothing that we have came from anywhere else other than God. We may think that it was because of our efforts, uh, 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 but it wasn't really. Uh, because God, God has given well, God gives us the strength and the intelligence mm -hmm. to acquire whatever we get, whatever we have, or or, or 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 a strength and intelligence for Him to to use as a vehicle to provide for us. One of the things I've kind of learned is in 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 this financial uh, biblical financial study with the some of the board is doing that I'm leading is it is this that uh, because because we. Uh, and 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 uh, because uh, the Lord's prayer doesn't say ever say I me or my right, and we realize that every and we just talked about today we have to understand that everything comes from God is is uh, here's what I have started doing. That's the we do that. For example, the, the automobile that you drive, right? Rather than saying this is my car or my this, or my that, we should maybe change our vocabulary. And so what I've started saying is, the car, God's car, your car. When, 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 the, car, when, the, car, when the transmission went out last mm -hmm. Sunday, what I said was, I don't know, God, why the transmission is your car. <laughs> <laughs> But it's your car, it's your car. <laughs> right? You do whatever. And the, 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 the only reason that that came to, came to me was because of something that's in the, in the book we studied, mm -hmm. we, 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 we studied uh, uh, to, which gave me to change, kind of change my vocabulary. The guy, uh, there was a guy that bought a new car, bought a new car, and he considered it was God's car, right? And he <laughs> bought it, and he had an accident a couple of days later, and what he said was. God, I don't know why you wanted a big dent in your car, but, you, <laughs> but now you have one. But, but the example, the example, the example is 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 that that we acknowledge God provides everything, everything, and 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 we should not ever be reluctant though to ask Him for everything. There's no, there's nothing in Scripture that says. We have to take an oath of poverty. Nowhere in Scripture does it say that. Mm -hmm. Now there are people that believe that, that. Yes, there are people that believe that. The same people that believe that 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 that, that, that celibacy is a is a script is scriptural. It's not. Um, uh, uh, it's a it's, 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 right. It says it's a gift. Mm -hmm. Celibacy is a gift. You know, that's a gift from God, right? The, right, right. Because right, because the natural thing is not celibacy. You can't be fruitful and multiply mm -hmm. if you're celibate. Mm -hmm. So the same thing with with provision. There's, there's nothing in Scripture that says that we 
have to be poor. Matter of fact, he says he wants you to prosper and be in health, right? Even as your soul prospers, right? But prospering means prospering, right? Prospering yeah. means prospering, right? Prospering means prospering. Now, uh, uh, and, and prospering but that doesn't mean doesn't mean scripted. Everybody gonna be a millionaire, right? Because that because because that's that 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 scripture actually uh, is a it's a, it's a salutation to a letter. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's not God. It's not God saying. I want you to prosper as your soul prosper. It's John when he's writing this letter. And, and stay, it, you know, some people when he write a, when he used mm -hmm. to write a letter, uh, I'm fine, how are you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. It's, that's just like saying it. Uh, John is praying, John is praying mm -hmm. that their, that his friend prospers even as his soul yeah, prospers. Right. So, mm -hmm. so, so, so God wants a, God doesn't promise yeah. prosperity. God promises meeting our needs. Right. That's what God promises. Right. He which does is, not right. Which, well, to some people, that would be prosper because we have so many people that don't have that don't have anything. Right, 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 right. 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 It, and, and that that's like and, and, and Jesus saying, uh, "Come to have have life and have it more abundantly," which means it's more than enough. But that doesn't mean it's riches. Yeah. Now, uh, God does give people riches, right? Mm -hmm. But He gives people riches. To do good with, to do good with. Right. and to help others. and to help others. Mm -hmm. That's why that's, that's why he gives riches to some of us and not to others. Mm -hmm. The scripture that says, uh, if you don't, if if you if if you are not faithful with little, who no, will give you? Who will trust you with faithful <laughs> with, with, with with much? Mm -hmm. And so that's God's thing. So if you're faithful with a lot. God will give you more so you can be more faithful. If you're not faithful with it, then, then I mean, it's just like us with a, with a kid. If, if your child tears up every toy you give them, you're unlikely to give them an expensive toy, toy because they will tear it up <laughs> so, un, until they learn. Uh, and, so we, and we all have to learn. So we, those are the kind of things we need to pray yeah, for. But, but 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 never but 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 never but 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 always remember that it it is appropriate for us to ask God to meet to give us our daily bread. It's appropriate for God to ask us to give me enough money to pay my bills. It's appro that's appropriate because those are needs that we have, and it would be stupid for us not to do that. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this time today. Thank you for this study. We pray for that you'll bless those that are on their way today. Bring them here safely. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.